Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, June 23rd, 2023, and here is your driving talk for today. Tomorrow is Chrissy's birthday, you guys. Tomorrow is Chrissy's birthday, and we're going to do a outdoor movie night for her birthday, and we're showing Shotgun Wedding with J-Lo, and... Uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be fun got some people coming over so I'll try to do a little video of that so you guys can see what our outdoor movie setup is like um, I really really enjoy that we were blessed because we got a outdoor movie screen from a church that was getting rid of theirs and you know it's just been so much fun every summer having people over to just watch a movie and hang out in our backyard. You know, it's cheap, it's family friendly, and it's fun. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm so excited for my, my sweet Chrissy and her birthday. She's amazing, you guys. She is amazing. She is super passionate. Like, she's passionately happy. When she's mad, she's passionately mad. Um, but all that passion goes into everything that she does, and 90% um, of it is super positive, right? So um, our, our lives are filled with laughter and, and love, and we make a good team, she and I. You know, anything that we try to tackle together, we, we accomplish, which is, um, is great. And her and Rick get along so well, you know. They, they really care about each other too so I, I love I love my little weird family and I love Chrissy and I'm hoping that she has the best birthday ever <laughs> so you know with that in mind I was thinking this morning about um, I was thinking this morning about how subconscious thoughts can can damage relationships and how self-depreciating conversations in your head about you. You know, when you're talking to yourself about you, like, man, you're such an idiot, or you're so stupid, or bad things keep happening to you because you're, because I'm, like if I said this to myself, bad things keep happening to me because I am cursed for some reason, or um, the whole world's out to get me, you know, Th these kinds of conversations, this is not good talk, you guys. You know, these negative self-conscious thoughts and negative conversations that you have inside of your head are not good for you. Don't let yourself get into that, that, that wheel of, it's almost like Groundhog Day where you're saying the same things about yourself over and over and over and over again until you believe them, you know, and that kind of, you're being toxic to yourself when you do that. And that's not good. And you don't have to do that. There is nothing that you did in this life that forces you to deserve that kind of self-hate. Nothing. Alright? If you're here and you're on this planet, you are worthy of love. You are worthy of acceptance. You are worthy of forgiveness. You know, as long as you're not going through life as a jerk, <laughs> you deserve love. So, love yourself. When you start feeling yourself going into that, that self-loathing space, you need to stop it. You need to stop it. The way I do it is I go, cuts! <laughs> Which is Korean for stop. Um... And I, I take a curious approach to, to my mind. Why am I going here? What's happening in life that's making me feel like this? What can I do to rectify this? Is there someone in my life being toxic that I need to cut out? Um, is there something in my life that's toxic that I need to cut out? You know, sometimes that that negativeness comes from outside of you. Most of the time, though, it comes from inside of you. All right, that's you doing it to you. But occasionally, 
other people can do it, do it, do it to you too. So, you know, you do have to take kind of a curious approach to why is this happening? Why do I keep doing this to myself? And then rectify it. You know, there's nothing set in stone. Those people who walk around life with rain clouds over their heads are calling those rain clouds to them. You know. So, anyways, I love you guys. So love yourselves. Love yourselves. Okay, I hope you have a great day. I will see you all again on Sunday for our weekly reading. And hopefully I'll have some video to show you of Chrissy's party. Okay? All right, have a good one, you guys. Take care. I love you. Bye.